These are the joys of scaling issues with a program that doesn't support it. This is Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve, running at 4K, 200% DPI scaling, because that's what I keep Windows on, because it works great for videos. People complain if I don't. It's a lot easier to read. My eyes don't like 100% anymore. But as you can see, the UI for Resolve looks like a tablet. It looks like I'm using a tablet interface. If I want to pull up the inspector, I can't have dual view. If I want to actually see what's on my timeline, I have to like make my previews really small. It's really obnoxious. But the trade-off is getting to use menus like this, where I have the timeline view options. You can see I click on stuff. I can actually edit a marker. This sounds dumb, but let's take a look. If I close Resolve, I apparently don't have a shortcut on my timeline. If I go to Properties, on my timeline, on my taskbar, Compatibility, High DPI Settings. Now, this is something that was happening automatically whenever Resolve detected my 1440p monitor connected, which has a different DPI scaling mode. But if I set it to Override System Enhanced and then Reopen Resolve, this is a much more reasonable size on its own. Any minute now. And before someone tries to, I guess, correct me on this, I did actually already confirm that this is what's happening. I had a whole thread in the Black Magic forums about why this was a problem, thinking that it was a problem just on my system somehow. Uninstalled a few times, uninstalled a bunch of stuff I didn't need to uninstall. And lo and behold, it's due to these scaling issues. But you can see here, we open up Resolve. Now, of course, it looks a lot more blurry, which would suck for tutorials. But for my day-to-day -day use, wow, that's a lot more space. That's a lot more screen real estate. Those are way smaller. Sometimes if it detects the 1440p monitor, it'll just take off the text and make it even smaller. I can pull up the inspector panel. I can actually see everything that's going on, but I lose functionality. These menus just totally glitch out. Same thing with the activation menu on the start on like the splash screen. I can't use these at all. This one, I can't navigate at all. The marker edit menu, I can at least type in. And then some other things I can sort of navigate with the tab key, as you can see here. I can't hit the buttons for it, though. But for whatever reason, changing scaling for Resolve breaks these kinds of menus. And this was a recent change. And since Resolve doesn't have any of its own granular scaling options, and that 200% scaling is just completely useless, I am stuck with deciding if I want broken menus but a usable ui to actually edit the video or a ui that looks like it's built for a tablet but menus that actually work fun times